everybody thank you so much for watching and welcome to another video today I'm going to be sharing with you this makeup look I created using the NYX ultimate warm neutrals eyeshadow palette I'm also going to be doing some swatches of every single shade in this palette so you can get more or less an idea of what this palette features because I tried to use majority of the shades in this palette but I couldn't use every single one so I did a little bit of a swatch video before I started this tutorial so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started okay so to start off I've already done my face my brows my bronzer and all that so we're just going to focus on the eyes I've already applied a little bit of concealer to my eyelids as well and I set that down but I'm going to go in with this it's a very pastel matte shade and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Next I'm going in with a little bit more of a light mocha. This is also a matte shade and I'm going to be blending that into my crease just to start off that transition a little bit. Taking the shade left from the shade we just used, this one is a little bit more purple undertone and a little bit more deeper and I'm just topping that off in my crease as well. Next, I'm taking this orangey, muddy brown. It's such a beautiful, warm um, shadow. So I'm just going to top that into my crease as well. I'm kind of just building on these shadows to create that perfect dimension, that perfect transition. It's just going to look so beautiful. And remember to tap off the excess so you don't have too much product on your brush. The key to getting the perfect blended eyeshadow is to stick to minimal brushes. I normally use two to three brushes max, if not only one. Um, I like to use brushes, um, you know, for the same thing. So I use one eyeshadow brush to do my entire eye, if it's just like a smoky eye, because you kind of get that perfect transitioning and perfect blending to the eye. Moving to the lower lash line, I like to use a brush that is more controlled. So I'm using a brush that is slightly angled but still fluffy to blend that shadow onto the lower lash line. So I'm taking this brush and I'm taking a mixture of the colors that we used and I'm just blending that onto my lower lash line. And as you can see over here, I always tie um, the corners together with the top and the lower um, shadows. And then I'm just brushing away some of the excess. This palette doesn't have too much fallout if you tap off the excess, of course. But sometimes you do get a little bit of fallout. I find that if you pick up shadows with your finger, they come out a lot more pigmented. So I'm taking this deep, muddy... Um, ready purpley shade this is a matte shade and I'm popping that onto my finger and I'm just tapping this onto my lid and then I'm going in with a shade next to the one we just used this one has a similar undertone but it has a lot more rose gold in it and some shimmers so I'm going to pop that onto the shade that we just used with my finger as well and of course, if you want to intensify this metallic, you can always wet your finger with a little bit of water or even your brush and that will just metallify, if that's even a word, it will make it a little bit more metallic and foil-like. And then I'm going back in with um, the shadow that we used for the transition and I'm just kind of like blending out any harsh lines that I created with um, my finger. And then to deepen the eye up a little bit more on the outer edges, I want to use as many colors of this palette as I can so that I can show you how I layer them but I'm going to take this deep purple shade and just pop that kind of like the outer corner of my eye just to like give that transition of depth and color 
For the inner corner, I want to use this bright gold. So I'm taking a little bit of this bright metallic gold and I'm popping that into the inner corner where we left that little space bare. This will just tie the whole look together. I found that it was better to use your finger, so I'm going to use my finger for this one as well. And then finally, I want to take a little bit of this light matte shade and just pop that on my brow bone. For my liquid liner, I'm using an Essence product and it's called the Liquid Ink Eyeliner in Waterproof. I haven't found a liquid liner as good as this one from the drugstore. I haven't tried any NYX ones yet, so um, I'm going to pick some up to try. But this one is from Essence. It's amazing. It's waterproof. It glides on so quickly and so easily um, and it lasts all day. So that's what I'm using for liquid liner. And then for mascara, I'm using a, another drugstore mascara. This one is from L'Oreal and it's called the False Lash Superstar X Fiber. So I'm just going to apply this to my lashes and then I'm going to apply some falsies. These ones are from Idol London and they are in the number 117. A perfect, wispy, natural looking lash but still looking glam and gorgeous. For lips, I'm using a lip liner from NYX. This is the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Lip Color Liner. Um, this one is in the shade Dark Soul. It's a very beautiful, dark, purpley red undertone lip liner. So I'm just applying this to my entire lips. And then to top that lip liner off, I'm using the NYX Pro Lip Cream Palette. This one is in the shade of the red and it's got a beautiful selection of reds. These um, lippies or lip palettes are not too, too pigmented. So I'm just taking a little bit of that on my finger and they're just kind of using it as a lip balm almost. So this is the finished result. I hope you guys enjoyed this NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals eyeshadow palette tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you want to see more tutorials on some of the other NYX Ultimate palettes because I have a few. Over here I have the Cool Neutrals which features some of the cool blues, cool greens, cool purples and cool greys in the eyeshadow family and then I also have a um, this is called the Smoky and Highlight which is also a beautiful palette and then I also have a bright palette which is very funky and very different so let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a tutorial in on any one of these palettes and I will do them next and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or your night depending on when you watch this if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can click this little picture over here and then I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>